on Mondays, you wear green and pink. I didn't own anything pink, guys. Okay, this is the closest I had. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review. My name is Mike, I really appreciate you checking out this video as I just got back from the cinema of seeing Mean Girls 2024, Mean Girls the Musical, whatever you want to call this adaptation. Now this is directed by two directors, we've got Samantha Jane and Arturo Perez Jr. Don't think I've seen any of their previous works before, but the screenplay is by Tina Fey. Now this is based on the Broadway musical with the Broadway musical being based on the Mean Girls movie in 2004, then that was originally based on a 2002 book by Rosalind Wiseman called Queen Bees and Wannabes. A little bit confusing, but basically this is adapted from the Broadway musical. And it's really cool to see Tim Meadows back here, uh, Tina Fey also, and we do get a cameo from one of the original cast members in Mean Girls. I'm not going to tell you who that is if you haven't seen this already. So, what is the plot of Mean Girls 2024 all around? Well, basically it's the same as the 2004 movie, where Katie, or Caddy Heron, moves from Kenya to America. Once she moves into this high school, she gets introduced to the plastics, and soon before long, her journey from being an outcast to the plastics is going to take a turn for sure. Stop what you're doing because the link down below is to my Patreon. If you're not already a member, memberships at £1 per month. You get access to so much early stuff, videos, competitions, giveaways and so much more. Get your name in the limelight like these absolute legends. Thank you to all them who helped to support me and Patreon. It really, really means a lot. What are you waiting for? Become a legend yourself. Get your name in the limelight and I'll see you over there on Patreon. So going into this one, I knew that it was a musical, and that's all I kind of knew. I saw the trailer and I thought, yeah, you know, it looked okay. I had like a couple of giggles like here or there. So I was excited to see what differences they were going to do compared to the original kind of 2004 movie starring Lindsay Lohan. And I absolutely love that movie for record. I think pretty much everyone does. I don't think I've ever met anyone who doesn't like that movie, but... I'm sure there's probably someone out there. So I ultimately, I can say after watching this latest adaptation of Mean Girls, I can say that I enjoyed it. You know, I had a smile on my face several times. There was plenty of moments I had a chuckle and I found some of the musical numbers to be really well done and some of the songs to be really great and ones that I'd probably listen to again. However, this movie is definitely not without its flaws and we're going to get into that. But first, we've got to touch on the performances and I'm going to try and mention some of these names but some of them I can't mention so you'll see like the text down here. I think definitely the standout for me though is the person who played Damien, again the name is down here. For me that character was the best, definitely had like the most comedic lines, comedic timing was great, pretty much I laughed a lot when this character delivered their dialogue and I think that all just comes down to the performance and the comedic timing of the actors so fair play to them. In terms of Angry Rice, I think that she did a good job here doing Caddy Heron. Of course, she is absolutely no Lindsay Lohan. In terms of the character of Janice, I will say that our new cast member, I kind of prefer it to the original. Maybe a little bit of a hot take, probably is going to be for some people. But I think that she delivered the dialogue great. I think she had a touch bit like oomph and bizarre, and definitely a lot more kind of outgoing and upbeatness to the character which I really, really enjoyed. And I think that is just a different version of the character that we've had before and not just kind of like a rinse and repeat version. So I definitely will give props where at least they did some changes. I also do know that Rene Rapp is uh, doing the role of Regina George here. And my partner actually informed me that she was on the original Broadway musical and she did the film adaptation version of Regina as well, which I think is really good. I think she is also a great Regina George. As I mentioned, the cast are all really good. But besides that, I say there's a few musical numbers. I found myself kind of like toe tapping or like coming back home and singing along to them. So yeah, definitely some musical numbers here, which work really well. Some more than others, which we'll get into and finally I will say that the cinematography 
it's really nice there's some like long shots there's some kind of like one takes here as well especially in some of the musical numbers which i appreciated and i think is done well and helps to kind of carry over that specific moment in the movie which ultimately adds that atmosphere that it's going for whether it's like a really upbeat song or whether it goes a little bit dark especially at a party which i really enjoyed so those atmospheric tones i felt were quite matched to align with the cinematography however if i'm going to give you guys some negatives and why you know i had a good time with this one but ultimately i don't think it's like absolutely amazing is this clocks in at around like two hours or maybe just under that and i feel as if the musical version which again i've not seen the broadway show but this is inspired by that they cut out quite a bit of the story to give us a musical number now i do think some of the musical numbers don't work or kind of forgettable don't really remember them and we could have maybe cut a couple of those songs i appreciate it's a musical but i feel like we could have cut a couple of those songs to give us a bit more kind of chemistry with the plastics or a little bit more chemistry with uh Kelly janice and damien and their friendship or about how like the plastics uh eventually if you've seen the original movie you know kind of disintegrate and dissolve especially as friendships are kind of torn we do get everything like that but we only get like kind of bare minimum it's kind of like scratch the surface and some stuff or like the mathematics kind of team it's very kind of briefly touched upon or sometimes it feels shoehorned in when those were really important moments in the original movie that made us really care about our characters journeys and development and also personalities which ultimately leads us to a possibly satisfying conclusion if you've seen the original movie and i feel like it's missing some of that because we get some like just montages or we get like megan the stallion here which why why do we need megan the stallion we really really don't and i know that's maybe a bit of a brave spoiler but i don't care like i just don't think she was really needed here and i just feel as if we don't get enough of the original cast back to do cameos although there's plenty of moments they could have been in for cameos but we don't get that and i just feel as if it goes more for the musical aspect undercut the story for an extra song or two and i think we didn't really need that we could have done with more story which was already as i mentioned kind of like two hours or just under so ultimately mean girls 2024 good time you know had a smile on my face can't say i regret watching it i could say i would rewatch it again but probably not in a rush to i would definitely go back to the original way more times personally but my overall score for mean girls is a free out of five stars have you seen this one are you going to check it out let me know down below in the comment section and we'll continue discussion down there also definitely give the video a big thumbs up if you haven't already completely free down below and also which is also free the red subscribe button as well smash that on your way out and definitely see more videos coming on the channel and if you haven't already click over here there's plenty more videos you can check out of videos you may have not even seen from the channel and until next time i'll see you guys i'll be seeing you later Thank mm -hmm. you.